Hello students, welcome back. Today we are going to start lesson number 16, Data Handling. In day-to-day -day life, we come across many situations involving various kinds of tables consisting of numbers, figures, names, etc. Okay, so in our day-to-day -day life, we used to go through many tables okay which is consisting of numbers like figures like names etc so for exa example collection of numerical information on different aspects of a state such as population wealth births and deaths etc okay so if we will take an example of different states population wealth birth rates death rates etc this tables gives information in the form of numbers which is called data. So what this table will give us? It will give us information in the form of a numbers. Okay, so population in the form of a number we will get. Wealth in the form of a number. Births we will get in the form of a number. And death, death rates we will get in the form of a number. So what that number is called? Is called data. A data is a collection of numbers gathered to get some information. So all data are collected and gathered to get some information. So it will provide us some information. Data handling refers to the process of gathering, recording and presenting information in a way that is helpful to others. So what is the process of data handling? It will first gather the information, then record it and presenting information in a way that it will help helpful to others. So process of data handling, first specifying and planning, then collecting data, processing and representing, then interpreting and discussing. Our life is surrounded by numbers. Like marks you scored, runs you made, your height, your weight. So this all will come in uh, numbers. All these numbers are nothing but data. So what they are? They are called data. Types of graphical representation. So what are the types? So first is tele chart or frequency chart. Second one is pictograph then bar graph, then double bar graph, then histogram, then pie chart. But in fourth standard, we will study about tally chart and pictograph. So first, what is tally chart? Tally charts are used to collect data quickly and efficiently. Means we, with help of tally chart, we will collect the data fastly and very accurately filling in a chart with marks representing numbers is faster than writing out words or figures okay in ch tally chart just we have to do marks okay so it will make faster in comparing we are writing out words or figures and the data is collected into subgroups immediately making it easy to analyze so this is the mark that we will use in the tally chart while preparing a table using tally marks four vertical lines crossed by a standing line make a group of five so this is the four vertical line one two three four and the one and the other crossed by a standing line it will make a group of five it indicates means five So tally marks for numbers 1 to 10. So for 1 we will write 1 tally mark. Then for 2 we will do 2 marks. Then for 3 1, 2, 3 marks. Then for 4 1, 2, 3, 4. Then for 5 1, 2, 3, 4 vertical lines. Then 1 standing line. Okay so this will make a group of 5. Then for 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 vertical line, then standing crossed standing line, it will make a 5, then again we will write 1, means 5 plus 1, 6. 
then for 7 1 2 3 4 then crossed standing line means it will make 5 then 6 7 for 8 1 2 3 4 vertical 4 lines then crossed standing line it will make 5 then 6 7 8 more 1 1 line means it will make a 8 then for 9 1 2 3 4 4 vertical line then crossed standing line means it will make a 5 then 6 7 8 9 now for 10 1 2 3 4 and 5 crossed standing line it will make a 5 then 6 7 8 9 and for here also for group of 5 we will do a crossed standing line means 5 so 5 plus 5 we will get 10 so this way we will do tally marks now we will see one example of tally mark organize the following marks in a class assessment means in class test in a tabular form so your marks are given so we have to make we have to make it in a tabular form with help of tally marks so first we will make a table first we will write marks then tally marks then frequency so first we have to find out the smaller number from the test mark so which is the smaller number that is 1 so we will write here 1 then after 2 so we will write 2 then after 3 then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9. So, your greater number is 9. So, we will write marks 1 to 9. So, now we have to do a tally mark. So, first mark is 4. So, in marks 4, we will do one tally mark. Okay. Now, second one is 6. So, in mark 6, we will do one tally mark. Then, third one is 7. So, in 7 marks, we will do 1 tally mark. Then, next one is 5. So, in 5 marks, we will do 1 tally mark. Then, next one is 3. So, we will do in tally mark 1. So, next one is 5. So, in 5 marks, we will do the second tally mark. Okay. So, next one is 4. So, in 4 marks, we will do second tally mark. Then, next one is 5. So, in 5 marks, we will do the third tally mark. Then next one is 2. So, in 2 marks we will do 1 tally mark. Then next one is 6. So, we will do 1 tally mark in 6. Then next one is 2. So, we will do in 2 marks second tally mark. Then next one is 5. So, we will do the fourth one tally mark. The next one is 1. So, we will do in 1 marks 1 tally mark. The next one is 9. So, we will do in 9 marks 1 tally mark. The next one is 6. So, we will do third one tally mark in 6. The next one is 5. So, we already done 4 tally marks. So, now we have to do the fifth one. So, how we will do? We will cross the standing line. Means it will make a 5. The next one is 8. So, we will do one tally mark in 8. The next one is 4. So, we will do the third tally mark in 4. The next one is 6. So, we will do the fourth tally mark in 6. The next one is 7. So, we will do the second tally mark in 7. Now, we have to write the frequency. So, how many students get one mark? Means one tally mark means one. Now, how many students get two marks? So, two tally mark means two. Then how many students get 3 marks? That is 1 tally mark. So we will write 1. Now next one. Next mark is 4. So how many students got that 4 marks? That is 3. 1, 2, 3. So we will write 3. So how many students got 5 marks? So that is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the cross standing line that is 5. Means 5 students. Now next mark is 6. So how many students got? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4. Now, next mark is 7. So, how many students got 7? 2. So, we will write 2. Then, next mark is 8. So, how many students got 8? 1. So, we will write here 1. Now, next mark is 9. So, how many students got 9? So, 1 tally mark. So, we will write 1. So, this way we have to do tally marks.
so now next topic is pictograph now what is pictograph pictorial representation of a numerical data using picture symbols is called the pictograph of the data so in pictograph we will use a picture symbols for representing the numerical data so it is called a pictograph of the data so for example mode of transport number of students so in instead of writing in numerical data number of students we have done a symbol okay so symbol for the students so mode of tran transport means how many students are using bus cars walking bicycle for going to school so your key is given one smiley face represent three children means one smiley face equal to three children it will indicate three children okay so how many students are using bus so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 means total seven smiley faces are there and each indicates three children so what we will do we will multiply 7 3 is 21 so how many students are using 21 students are using bus the next one is car so how many smiley faces are there symbols are there 1 2 3 4 so how many students are using so your four faces are there so we have to multiply by 3 each represent three children so 4 3 is 12 so how many students are using car 12 children now by walking so here how many symbols are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six symbols each symbols indicates three children so we will multiply 6 3 is 18 so how many students are going by walking 18 students now next one is bicycle so how many students are using bicycle so your three symbols 1 2 3 each symbols represent three children so how many children are using bicycle so 3 3 is 9 so nine students are using bicycle okay so this way we will make in a pictograph Thank you.